Have you I have a super pack, Colbert Super Pack. Yeah. As far as I can tell, the difference between a pack and a super pack is a cover letter. Because I formed a pack, but a pack can only take so much money, it can only spend so much money. And I wanted to spend unlimited amounts of money and receive, more importantly, unlimited amounts of money. And so my lawyer told me all I had to do was add a cover letter that said, I intend this to be a super PAC. And it was a super PAC. And it all happened by accident. I just said, you know, maybe, well, uh, let's, get the, let's get the URL, colbertpack.com, just mm -hmm. for fun, for my show. And the network called and said, you just bought a, a political action committee website. Are you really going to get a political action committee? And I said, why do you ask? Mm -hmm. And they said, because if, if you do, that could be trouble. And I said, well, then I'm going to do that. Yeah. You, Ted Koppel, why doesn't Ted Koppel have a super PAC? Yeah. It is legal for you to have a super PAC and talk about it on the air, and the FEC won't do anything about it. And I could get lots of contributions. You could. And you could finally have a voice in America. I feel, don't, don't you want your voice to be heard? I, I feel like such a fool. But what what, I, what I, I found, well, the most amazing thing is I found out is that there are, there's almost nothing that's against the law when it comes to spending political money. They're incredibly expensive. Okay. Colbert Super PAC paid for these babies. There's nothing in federal election law that says I couldn't use all the money to buy myself a sailboat. Is that true? That's true. If, is, if it's not illegal, you can use Super PAC money to buy it. it My cause anything. could be to educate people of how big of a boat I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I wish, I wish that were a joke. But you, you couldn't keep it for private use, could you? I could, yeah, sure. Really? I could do... Wait, Nuke, that's what Newt Gingrich has been living on. He's been living on his PAC money. And Sarah Palin. Sarah PAC. You know, the little right. vacation she took that. with her yes. family mm -hmm. last year where mm -hmm. she said Paul Revere, you know, right. went around shooting his gun. Mm -hmm. um, that was all paid for by super PAC money. How much money have you, have you collected so far? Oh, the fun thing about that is I don't have to tell you. Well, you have to tell me who sends it to you. <laughs> no, not for a while. Well... Eventually, eventually I do, but every, until then, every, every my major months. donor is none of your damn business. But every three, every three months, mm, it's every three months once you start reporting. But I actually formed this back in July, and I still haven't reported yet. And what can happen to you? What? I could go to FEC jail. But they don't send people to jail. Well, then I guess nothing will happen to me. Well, they can find you. They can find me, but they have to actually rule that I did something wrong. And the FEC is a 3-3 organization, and right. they're far more likely to come to a tie, in, which, in case, which case they say, we don't know whether you've done anything wrong, in which case I can keep doing what I want. You cannot be a candidate and run a super PAC. That would be coordinating with yourself. And that's the problem, folks. Presidential candidates cannot coordinate with super PACs. Mr. Speaker, are you, give, uh, are you giving any direction or advice to winning our future? The super no. PAC? Are you affiliated with them at all? I'm not affiliated with them at all. I don't talk with them at all. There's a bright uh, uh, division uh, between what I do and what any super PAC can do. Super PACs have to be entirely separate from a campaign and a candidate. I'm not allowed to communicate with a super PAC in any way, shape, or so form. You... Super PACs are often run by people close to the candidate. The pro-Romney super PAC, Restore Our Future, was founded by Romney's lawyer. Winning our future, the Newt Gingrich Super PAC, is run by a former Newt staffer. And the Rick Perry Super PAC, Make Us Great Again, was started by Mike Toomey, who was Perry's chief of staff and co-owns an island with Dave Carney, Perry's chief strategist. And I briefly kind of ran for president in South remember Carolina that. in January. Yeah. So I gave, it to, I gave it to this guy who I barely knew named John Stewart. Trevor, is being business partners a problem? Being business partners does not count as coordination oh. legally. Great. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, John, prepare yourself. Here we go. Trevor. Trevor, if you will, Colbert Super PAC transfer activate. <laughs> Colbert Super PAC is dead. But it has been reborn as... The definitely not coordinating with Stephen Colbert Super PAC! Now that I uh, have the Super PAC, it is yes, mine. Sir. Can I run ads supporting 
uh, Stephen Colbert, who I believe in very deeply, perhaps attacking his potential opponents, who I don't believe in at all. <laughs> yes, you can, as long as you do not coordinate. Can I legally hire Stephen's current super PAC staff to produce these ads that will be in no way coordinated with Stephen? Yes. <laughs> what will become of the money? <laughs> who's, who's asking? Uh, yeah. We're Americans for better tomorrow tomorrow. All right. And starting first thing tomorrow, we're going to figure out how to make the world a better place. <laughs> tomorrow. In the meantime, yeah. we're just collecting money. I see. It's funny until you think about it. The fact of the matter is Stephen Colbert has proved by going before the Federal Election Commission, by becoming a super PAC, by now handing the super PAC over to his buddy John Stewart so that he can go and run to be president of South Carolina, he is proving how ridiculous this system has become.